Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am Diman Choudhury. I work for Delta. How many of you know Delta? I see a lot of Delta colleagues over here. But how about the rest of you? Do you know about Delta? No? OK. Um, Delta, before I go to Delta, I'll talk about a little bit what I'm going to talk about today. So we know about network is transforming. We know about server world is transforming. We know about storage world is transforming. But when you put together all of this, how about information com communication technology infrastructure? How that is transforming? I'm going to talk about that particular abstractions, how it's transforming from what used to be a silos to more integrated, open, and efficient and intelligent. Okay, and that would be the theme, but I would like to make it conversational. So please talk with me as I go through. It's more about connecting with you than presenting a bunch of slide decks, okay? So I ask you a question about Delta. Delta, actually a conglomerate. They have a different kinds of product line. We are serving in 104 countries. We have infrastructure product line. On the right-hand side, you see from optics to racks to power distribution systems. We do have power supplies, discrete components as well. Automation side, we have IOTs, building automations, industrial automation, and so on and so forth. Solution side, we also provide solutions to telecom power, data center solutions, industrial automation, as I mentioned, building automations, renewable energy, and so on and so forth. Right? Having said that, Delta, as I go through this slide deck, you will see Delta is a leading vendor to provide you infrastructure solutions end to end for your ICT infrastructures. So, as infrastructure is transforming from network, as you see our Agima portfolio product over here that is supporting open ecosystems. At rack level, we also open, we have an open uh, V2 uh, racks as, as well as our power shelves and so on and so forth. Power distribution side, we are also bringing in a little bit of uh, integrated capabilities with his manageables. And we are also pro providing DCIM solutions for your data center, overall data center infrastructure management. So as you see, the open aspect of it goes up to the rack but we are a little bit working towards the power distribution system to bring in into open infrastructure as well. But overall, we are providing open, efficient, and intelligent infrastructure, and I'm gonna talk about as I'm gonna show you how the network is transforming because bringing in all this product line together to depict an infrastructure that you would like to build. So here, here is an example, and talk with me and question me. This is one way to um, serve your infrastructure is use existing, a typical solution should be using UPS systems, right? You bring in a high power line from the transformer and you use the UPS systems. You could use that power cabinet and there are two different kinds of power cabinet you could use. You could put side by side, connect them together to build an in big distribution systems or you could use them as a standalone, right? So I'm talking about this area, oops, this area. It's not working <laughs> anyway. Um, so, and you can take the power right to the rack and use the high voltage AC or DC power shelf to convert that power back to the devices, right? We have shelf level power um, distribution as well as we have central distribution systems. From the UPS standpoint, we provide 96% efficiency on our product line. And networking side, you could build your class architecture. Now, if you're building a data centers, the ideal way to build a class is a five-folded class, depending upon how big of your network you wanted to build. We provide optics to networking gear from one gig to 100 gig is currently available, 400 gig is coming. And we ha do have 400 gig product line as well. So this is a typical scenario how you will build a typical, through a typical approach, a typical data center infrastructure. 
But if you would prefer to be much more efficient and go into a DC distribution system, we do have, you see from the transformer side, we have a high voltage DC rectifiers, right? And if you, are, if you prefer to bring in green power, let's say, for the sake, you could have panels, solar panels, connected to the inverter. An inverter connects to the transformer, and then you bring the DC line back to a power conditioning system from Delta, we call PCS system, and the PCS connects back to the high definition, um, sorry, high, high voltage the DC uh, cabinets, right? And then you bring that line, high voltage line, direct to the rack, and there you have two choices. Either step down DC to DC, or use our power supply that can take high voltage DC, or you use our shelf like this, I'm showing over here, that will take high voltage DC and give it, step it down to 12 volt or 48 volt, whatever required. Any question? No. So the next approach, as you can see here, is another approach. Let's say you want to take AC directly and build a power distribution systems based on this AC high voltage line. We do have power cabinets. You could, again, put them in a series and then put it in a big, huge areas, and you could provide a huge power distribution systems back to your infrastructure systems. Again, you could bring the high voltage AC line to our high voltage AC input and or convert it to DC or vice versa. Any question? Anyone? But what we are doing while well, we are providing it, at the same time, at the shelf level, you know, you, uh, a lot of people are talking about how do I do rack level scaling, right? At the rack level, you see that there is a BBU system, battery backup unit is there to provide you. Nowadays, we are also providing lithium backup battery at the rack level to provide you that portion of the time when the network would be down due to power outage, right? Maybe 30 seconds or more, you will get uh, that kinds of uh, efficiency, 30 seconds or more to provide you a backup battery system to provide the power source to your networking gear, servers and storage and so on and so forth. So these three ways that you design your network and at the same time, we have a rack level intelligence to provide you environmental parameters, right? We have uh, thermal sensors, we have uh, the power sensors, and so on and so forth. And uh, later on, I will show you that you could re re really, at the rack level, you could able to get the PUE, right? So if, if you are shooting for PUE power efficiency factors, let's say 1.2, you could able to uh, get that element information at the rack level and then calculate at your complete solutions level, right? As you see, the data center is transforming. We are talking about 5Gs are coming, and you, most of you are familiar with this buzzword about 5G, SDN network, NFB, and so on and so forth. I gave you a glimpse of how telecom network is transforming. As you see, more and more, so there are several things happening, and that's where we are bringing our white box, our overall infrastructure solution, to allow the network to build a network of the future, to build an infrastructure of the future. That's where Delta brings its strength. We have overall product line that supports it. So let's say you have um, a virtualized CRAN environment, right? Cloud RAN where lots of antennas are there. You want to take that, uh, the BBU function and put it in a BBU hoteling and so on and so forth. You could put that mobile, edge clouding system, and that edge cloud where the content can be pushed to the edge. And that kind of environment, you could actually, Delta has a product called modular data centers. We could literally bring the data center right to the mobile edge, and you bring your servers and so on and so forth, but the environment is over there. And also we provide the infrastructure DCIM to manage those modular data center right at the edge. And the core, Agima provides you a portfolio of product line from one gig to 400 gig and chassis and so on and so forth 
to materialize the transformation that telecos is trying to do. Telecos are moving from central office to more data center like of environment and the physical aspect and we are helping them to materialize or realize that kinds of transformation. Any question anybody? No. So different environment we talked about the different areas that Delta can able to help and here we bring in the product lines. You see a number of racks at different scenarios that you could use those racks. Those racks has intelligent IoT module for uh, rack level management. And also for power side, PM bus is supported. So if you want configuration and control of the power, you could still do it intelligently through a central controller, right? You could manage all those power aspect of it. Eguma side, as I mentioned, we are drastically upgrading our portfolio to offer state-of-the-art silicons and a product line that can now support up to terabit routing systems. 30 ter terabit routing systems are coming to our chassis. And interesting part here that we, we are hearing about white box disaggregation model and so on and so forth. You see the portfolio product we are bringing in right now to not only serve the enterprise data center, but as well to telecom. With some of the state of the art product line we do have that provides you clocking support, uh, packet buffering, routing capabilities. Each of these boxes that, for example, Qumran based platforms or Jericho Plus based platforms can now innately support you 1.5 million to 2 million route. So those devices can be a provider as device as well as, I have to go a little faster because I'm running out of time, but you get the picture, right? You get the picture how to build the network infrastructure as well as um, um, your ICT infrastructure. Here is our UPS portfolios, 96% efficient, our shell portfolio, and very interestingly, our cabin, cabinet base high voltage DC. Now, what happened in the data centers or any, any transformation towards infrastructure is that the regular air conditioning systems cannot, the comfort air conditioning system, cannot understand the environmental parameter at rack level. So in order for you to understand heat density at servers or, or uh, networking uh, rows, you need a cooling and a row level cooling right, rack level cooling, and that is a new type of product, that is a new type of cooling environmental control systems that is also manageable, that is by SNMP um, or IoT parameters and so on and so forth. Rack level, I talked about rack level management, you see the temperature sensors, all environmental uh, parameters you could collect and manage and visualize for your network transformations and for your infrastructure transformation. We do have optical product line that started from one gig all the way to 400 gig. As we bring in 400 gig platforms and transformation of networking gear, you see we are also bringing a portfolio of optics to support your ultimate goal of network transformation or ICT transformation. At the end, we do have various different component product line, as well as thermal management systems. And this is a complete thermal management system from liquid cooling solution. If you come to our booth, you will see a unique design of liquid cooling that can have two heat sink that you can put it on top of CPUs, and it, on the back end, it has a radiator-like water cooling systems. Very unique solutions, you can come to our booth and take a look at it. So we also provide thermal management system and so on and so forth. So having said that, I have 35 seconds. Any questions? No? I hope I have given a brief about the Delta and the transformation we are doing. So please come to our booth and you know, if you have questions or any information you further you need, we are willing to provide. Thank you.